What is up, beautiful people? It's your boy Ramon, back in the building. Just got home, actually, from Casio's Shock the World 2013 event. And I think the Casio boys got a little something-something for New York, man. This is my second event in New York, back-to-back. And, uh, yeah... Casio definitely uh, knows how to throw a party, or should I say G-Shock? So they start off the event pretty much with some familiar antics to fans. Uh, they brought out a few watches and some and, and mud and sand, and they dropped some from the ceiling, and, and then they tossed them out in the in the crowd. So you know, it's always nice to see that playful behavior going on. But G-Shock really unveiled a few key things here starting from the the iconic 6900 they they announced the, the gdx 6900 which pretty much made the watch 10 percent bigger according to their stats uh, and they were going off of the feedback they got from from making some of the other series bigger so fans were just waiting for these these guys to which which is the classic ones i guess you could say to just be supersized and they had a uh, brooke lopez from the nets come out and do his celebrity thing and then they went on to to introduce the new master g collection uh it was called the rage the range man which is pretty much some sort of military inspired watch and they had a dope story with a, a firefighter from brooklyn shout out to fdny who pretty much went through his bit on how the watch plays a, a pretty important part of his work life his active life and it's his casual life so and he was actually in the, in the in the crowd so that was dope then it went on to the baby g series which is for the women and very popular amongst the women they announced uh, one of the models, I forget which one it was, I, I think it was the BA-1100 or the BA-11-1 or 1-1 whatever. However you say that, these model numbers are wild. So they actually made them smaller, which was a dope thing because they said, according to their feedback, women were requesting that these things come smaller, just the same design but just smaller. So there you go. And I think it was available in nine colors and they had jessica stam you know, supermodel running around the world she came out and did her bit then they announced uh some incremental improvements to the the bluetooth model uh, i thought it was dope that it could actually read see your emails well not see your emails but notify you of emails and um it's also got a trigger in there that'll allow you to control your music from the watch control the music on your phone from the watch also pretty dope but uh it was one or two more things added onto that but i think the showstopper for the night definitely the watch that owned the event was the mtg which stood for metal twisted g-shock this is pretty much g-shock's entry into luxury and from the looks of it they did a really good job they kept that classic g-shock look but they did quite a bit to give it a, a, a touch of class and pretty much give you a reason to own this thing. Now there's a lot going on behind the engineering that they did and I, I wish, like I couldn't take notes fast enough and I, I wish I had some release information here for you but they pretty much had to re-engineer the way shock worked and because they're big on shock and every G-Shock made has to have a certain durability and resistance they had to rethink that with the introduction of metal now when you factor all of these things in this guy is not cheap it starts out at nine hundred dollars and they had a they had a good bit with i, I forgot who he was at torno but he he was talking about how he was a collector and torno's got the exclusive to sell the watch this holiday season so on and so forth so it was it was pretty dope and I like the attempt that they, they're making to enter the, the luxury market in terms of watches. So the silver one will be 900 and then after that there'll be an all black one that will be a grand. And then after that there's a limited edition one with I think it was black with red trims for the 30th anniversary colors and that will be 1100. But listen, you catch yourself saying wow. 900 a grand 1100 for a g-shock but believe you me when you see this thing when you hold this thing it reeks of quality like this is a nice piece and i didn't i didn't say watch i said piece 
and knowing G-Shock's legacy, this thing is pretty much going to stand the test of time. But it wasn't really done there. You know, we saw the watches. After the watch announcements got out the way, they moved us into an area, they fed us, they liquored us up with a bunch of drinks, open bars all over the place, listened to some music, and then the entertainment for the night kicked off. Uh, artist Yellow Wolf came out did a pretty good job Eminem was also performing I actually left a little early it's like the middle of the week and this is the same thing that happened last year like come on we gotta get this guy on stage earlier man I got a bedtime I can't be messing with this man but yeah shout out to G-Shock they really they really sold me again on their story on continuing evolution they had my attention after last year's show but now I think it's time to make that purchase. That that MTG is really coming home. And it's a really fascinating brand, especially when taking into the fact that the the founder had has this attitude of never give up. You know, it's such a dope brand to to be a part of and to want to get into. But yeah, shout out to them. Congratulations on their 30th and congratulations on that that mtg beautiful watch it was a great event overall and look out for a lot of release material coming from them and we'll cover it over at the website as well before i go one last thing so they put together a nice swag bag for us and a few goodies in there but one of them i think was really special it was a limited edition 30th anniversary in new york watch <laughs> What a mouthful. It's white and purple. And I forget the model number. Spare me, please, G-Shock fans. But yeah, this is not for me. This is actually for you guys. Yep, I'll be giving it away. So stay tuned. I'll set up the, the giveaway soon. And we're going to have some fun with this one. And yeah, it's your boy Ramon. I am out of here.